Hi, everybody. Good morning. Today, we'll be reading our second text of the week, a text called Polite Society. Now, this text is interesting because it actually originated as a Facebook post that went viral. Now, this text really brings up some important points to recognize about the Black Lives, Lives Matter movement. We'll be completing an opening do now routine to help students begin to grasp some of the concepts um, that related to the Black Lives Matter movement. We'll be completing a before reading activity, once again, helping students understand um, this idea of prejudice, of discrimination, and how those issues affect many institutions in our society. There's this idea of what the author calls a dual image, um, where people have to act differently in public than they normally would in private. And many people feel like they can't be themselves or they'll be discriminated against. In addition, there's this concept of the double standard where certain groups of people are treated differently than other groups of people. And as, as we see in our society, um, oftentimes certain groups receive different treatment and different punishments for the same actions as other groups. So today's purpose, we are going to begin reading a text today that may be challenging at first. Keep in mind that the author is trying to describe how society treats people differently. So paying attention to who she is talking about will help you track the message. So we're going to uh, look, at the, look at the first portion of the text today. There's an audio recording available and a link to the text, which includes uh, guiding reading questions. Students can answer these questions to um, check for their understanding while they are reading the passage. It's important to point out question number two asks students to consider this concept of being polite and when being polite, if ever, may not be a good thing. Um, the author uses a meaning of polite in a different way than it's often used. Another concept to point out is this concept of code switching, where once again, people have to behave differently depending on who they're around. So many students may act a certain way in school, may act differently with their friends, may act differently at home. Um, and they're forced to kind of adjust their behavior based on other people's expectations of, of how they should act. Now, after the reading, there's a summarizing activity. And this activity asks us to draw comparisons between how white people are treated in certain situations and how people of color are treated in similar situations. And this is something that the author re refers to as a dual image, but it could also be considered maybe a double standard where two groups of people are held to different expectations based on their racial background. So there is a number of closing and connecting activities. Um, students could share out their opinion on whether the author who wrote this is an activist that question raised a number of interesting discussions for my students. Um, students could again make a connection to the text and discuss a time where they saw someone else judge for their appearance um, or their language. Many students could relate to situations where they've seen that, um, where they've been stereotyped or been prejudiced. Um, students could write thoughts about a time where they felt pressured to fit into a group. And finally, they they could review more, more in depth this concept of stereotype and this concept of the single story where certain groups are kind of reduced to certain stereotypes. So that could be, that word stereotype could be added to our word knowledge building matrix chart. It's an important concept that reoccurs throughout the readings this week and will come up again in future units. So for the word stereotype, Students may say, judging people by their appearance, race, or nationality. Judging someone without getting to know the person. Being prejudiced. Think prejudging. Uh, one final point to make is that many students may have uh, varying familiarities with this concept of the Black Lives Matter movement and this reference to the hooded sweatshirt, which is of course a reference to the Trayvon Martin incident in 2013, one of the most important beginning movements 
that started this Black Lives Matter larger movement. So for that, for, for that being said, to provide additional support to our ENL students who may have varying understandings of Black Lives Matter, there's a supplemental lesson provided. Now, this is an excellent lesson that could be used to provide additional background information on this important topic. There's a link to this document in the video adapted resources folder. And this is something that all students, in particular ENL students, would benefit from. There's background information on Black Lives Matter, beginning, of course, with Trayvon Martin, the Trayvon Martin incident. Vote, there's important vocabulary words surrounding um, the Black Lives Matter protest movement. Uh, and there's some additional references to some other Black Lives Matter incidences, as well as some creative, creative activities, as well as um, a, a poem by Langston Hughes and a song by Aretha Franklin. So that activity is, a, is an excellent way to help students build some background knowledge on Black Lives Matter, which may be beneficial for some students in understanding the text. In lieu of an extended activity, there's also a number of resources on YouTube uh, that, could, that could be used to help build students' um, background understanding of the topic. Now, so finally, um, students could work on this student handout document where they could keep all their work organized for the week. So following the reading, the discussion questions could be answered here, as well as the after reading and the closing and connecting activities. So at this time, let's jump into today's lesson. Can somebody please read today's essential question? Good. How do we stand up for ourselves and for others? Can somebody please read today's two lesson objectives? Good. To identify evidence that supports a conclusion taken from a text and to analyze the development of the central idea or theme in a text. Now, th this text may be challenging once again, but I think it's worthwhile for students to try to develop a message that they can glean from their reading of the text. And I think many students, while they may not understand the entire text, will certainly be able to make some meaning from portions of it. Now, let's look at this opening do now routine. Look at the images. What do you see? What do you think? What do you wonder? Now, you could give students a minute at this point and pause the video and ask students what they notice about these images, and they can use the sentence starters provided to help them. Students may say, in the image, I see people wearing hoods. I think that the people are of different races. One thing I wonder is, why are they treated differently even though they are dressed similarly? Now, this is a reference to a line in the text where the, this idea of wearing a hooded sweatshirt ma makes people look differently based on their race. So there's this idea that for a black person, it's a hooding. And this was a reference to the Trayvon Martin incident where he was seen as suspicious because he was wearing a hooding. But certainly it's a similar clothing item to the white individual who would call it maybe a hooded sweatshirt. Now, let's look here. The teacher is going to provide some background information about today's text, as well as a quote from the text. So this is an excellent way to introduce the text to our students and to have these two short discussion questions uh, with the class. Now, these questions are included on the student handout paper. Have you ever felt judged because of how you look or how you talked? And what is this dual image? that the author is talking about? Is it the same as a double standard? So it may be helpful to have a short discussion on this idea of both dual images and double standards. Now, here's a link to an audio recording of the text, 
as well as a link to the text itself, including the guiding reading questions. Here are the discussion questions following the reading of the text. It may also be helpful to have a discussion of code switching. And once again, to revisit this idea of what it means to be polite and when being polite may have different connotations and meanings. Again, there's this after reading activity where students could pay attention to an excerpt from the text where the author describes different standards for both white people and for people of color. Finally, there's a number of closing and connecting activities. You can check for understanding of the students and ask the students if by writing this post, the author is an activist. Students could connect to a time where they saw someone being judged for their appearance. They could write about a time where they felt pressured to fit in, to maybe code switch themselves. And once again, that students could revisit the definition of stereotype on their word knowledge building matrix chart. So at this time, you could jump in to the before reading activity and enjoy today's text. Thank you so much and enjoy the lesson.